The half square triangle unit is a common quilting unit that every quilter should know how to do. And there are a lot of different methods for making this. If you have to make a lot of half square triangles, then you might want to consider the grid method. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. If you have to make a lot of half square triangles with the same fabrics, then the grid method is a great way. Today I'm going to show you how to make a whole bunch of half square triangles all at once. So for the grid method of half square triangles, the first thing we need to do is calculate the size of square that our grid is going to be based on. And this size is going to be the finished size of half square triangle units that you need plus one. So I want three inch finished half square triangles. So my grid is going to be based on a four inch square. But if you want a different size uh, finished half square triangle, then you'll need a different size square. And then we need to determine how many squares we want in our grid. So I want 24 half square triangle units and each square in my grid is going to make two. So I need a grid of 12, which will be a three by four grid. So based on a four inch square, I need a piece of fabric that is more than 16 inches wide and more than 12 inches tall. And so I have my light fabric that's that size. So on the back of the light fabric, I'm going to draw my grid right onto the fabric. And I'm using a black pen for this so that you can see it clearly. And you can use whatever you want to draw this. Uh, these lines will be cut on after. So I'm just drawing lines four inches apart for my grid. So there are my horizontal lines. Now I'm going to go and draw in the vertical lines. So there I have my four by three grid marked right on the fabric. Now I'm going to mark diagonal lines in one direction across the whole grid. So now that all those diagonal lines have been drawn, I'm going to take my darker fabric and then I'm going to lay the two fabrics right sides together, making sure that the darker fabric is large enough to cover the whole grid. And then I'm going to place a few pins because this piece is large and we don't want it to shift when we're stitching. And then once it's pinned, we'll take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch a quarter inch away from either side of all the diagonal lines. So for the stitching, we don't pay attention to the horizontal and vertical lines. We're just stitching on the diagonal lines. Now, if you have a quarter inch foot on your sewing machine, this would be a good time to use that. I don't have a quarter inch foot on my machine but this foot is slightly less than a quarter of an inch. So I can still use this foot as a guide. Um, if you have a foot that is wider than a quarter of an inch, you'll have to find a place on the foot or something else to use as the guide. Because you can have a seam that is slightly less than a quarter of an inch, but you can't have a seam that is more than a quarter of an inch because your pieces won't be big enough. So once you've done all the stitching, double check to make sure you didn't miss any of the lines. Then we're going to go to the cutting mat and we're going to cut on all the lines. So horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. So now they're cut and you'll have a whole pile of these 
half square triangle pieces. So we just need to go to the ironing board and press them so that the seam goes underneath the darker fabric. Now you'll probably notice that some of them have a few stitches just across the tip of the triangle from the diagonal stitching. Well, when you go to the ironing board, use a seam ripper to just gently take those out and they should come out easily, but try not to yank on it to get them apart because that might stretch the pieces. So once they're pressed, you have this whole pile of half square triangle pieces. Now we just need to trim them down to the final size that we need. So because I want a finished size of three inches, I'm gonna trim these down to three and a half inches to account for the seam allowances. So the trim is the size, put them on the cutting mat and align your ruler with the diagonal line right on the diagonal line of the piece. And then make sure, because we're trimming this to three and a half inches, make sure that on those two sides, it's actually larger than three and a half inches. Then hold the ruler firmly and you can trim those two sides. And then if you have a small cutting mat, you can actually rotate the whole thing and then align three lines. You align three and a half inches there, three and a half inches there, making sure the diagonal line is still in the middle. Hold it firmly and then trim the final two sides. And there we have the perfect three and a half inch half square triangle unit. We just have to repeat these 23 more times and then we'll have all 24 of them. And there we go, a whole bunch of half square triangles ready to use in our project. For more quilting tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to check out my website, ebitastudio.com.